Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Imaging Spectrum TV. I'm Eric and I'm here again with our industry expert, Steve Ben. How's it going, Steve? Good, Eric. Awesome. Good to see you. Awesome. awesome. Great to be back. Today, you, we are talking about the Fuji DX100. And the DX100 is the first inkjet printer, professional inkjet printer on the market that really has the versatility, the portability, um, and the speed to be uh, a viable option for the event market. There's another marketplace that this, this printer has a purpose now, and Steve's gonna tell us about it. You know, one of the things that people are always trying to do in the photo booth industry is to be different. And I'm just gonna do a little comparison here in, in terms of size. Last time we did our video, we focused on some larger size strips. So with the Brava and the DS40 printer, you know, we have a longer strip, which is the two by eight that's available for those two printers. Let's put this in comparison. So to give you an idea, this is what we're talking about. We have a two by six and we have a four by 12. Crazy, crazy affordable. Crazy, crazy, crazy affordable. The four by 12s, if you want to take a guess at what this would cost, you're going to be right at about uh, you're going to be right at about 28 cents uh, to get one of these. Crazy affordable. Not only that, but we'll take it a step up and we'll deliver a monster print. Now the print speeds are very comparable to Dice Sub. Uh, a couple other things I want to point out, Eric. I want to talk about quality. Huge step up from dye sublimation printing and uh, just the, the gamut, the color range that you're able to pre-produce, you're really approaching a quality level that you would only find in your high-end lab pro prints. Um, and we just love the quality, it's unbelievable. If you want to send a uh, email to photobooth at imagingspectrum.com, we would be more than happy to send you a sample print. You could see, see the quality for yourself. And I no. see you've got a true luster surface yes. that you would get from a lab. And then what are the other options? There's a glossy. A glossy and luster. And the one that blows me away, they have a fine art paper that is incredible. That is unique. That is very yeah. unique. And if I had to just pick a word, one word that describes everything you could do with this, the quality and everything, it would all be unique. So tell us about the paper. So. <laughs> The paper's on a roll like a die sub. Paper's so on a roll like a die sub, yes sir. So there's different widths of paper. Different widths. You've got four inch, you've got five inch, six inch, and eight inch. Okay. And they're 213 foot rolls, and uh, they're sold to two rolls a piece, and uh, very affordable. So you could conceivably do an eight by whatever. You can model. do an eight by whatever. Let's, let's talk about utility and versatility. This isn't a team sports picture, and it's not a panorama in the traditional sense, the landscape shot. Um, but this has so many uses beyond just the photo booth world. I mean, this has been catching fire in the event market for yeah. a couple of years now. We know that. Right. And, you know, we, we thought it'd be interesting to talk about the photo booth industry because that's now a sub-segment of the event market and uh, and they have their own way of doing things and yet at the same time they're related to each other very intertwined my really favorite my favorite is the 4x12 I Classic love the size. 4x12 I just think this is cool it's not too big to carry around and to get home from the event right where you know this let's face it if someone's got something like this if they've got to baby it a little bit but the media is uh, very robust it's fingerprint resistant when it comes out of the printer, it's dry. You don't have a lot of the issues you have with aqueous printing, with the materials being a little more sensitive or costly. So, and Steve, I was talking to a customer that does a lot of corporate marketing, and they were just commenting on how a print like this has staying power for branding. You, yes. you give somebody this, they're going to... Throw yeah, it away. I this, mean, they, yeah. it's harder to throw this yeah. away. They're going to want to put it on their refrigerator or put it, put it, hang it somewhere. So. Ladies and gentlemen, two by six is a tired format. A four by twelve is a new two by six. The main goal here, again, we're going to look all across all the things we can do. We could do stickers now. We could do two by eights. We can do two by sixes. We could do four by twelves. 
I mean, there's just more options now than ever. And uh, for those that take advantage of them, uh, they can deliver a premium product. So again, if you would like a sample print, you can email Steve's uh, photo booth team. It's photobooth at imagingspectrum.com and they'll uh, send out a sample print to you or you can send, send them some files and they'll, they'll do a print for you. And now that our video is like 30 minutes long, thank you, we're Eric. Cut it off. Thanks. Hey, Peace. We'll see you next time.